Hi, this is Westru70 for Haven and Hearth. Tips and tricks. Today we're going to look at uh, a general strategy of the game. Um, I'm at a point uh, where I can start making uh, larger scale decisions about where I want to devote my resources to. And this particular segment is just about that. Um, I hope that you can get some ideas about how you can approach uh, your own decision making process when you get down to it. And eventually that will, of course, come. So I hope you enjoy this and let's get going. So one of the th things that I've been uh, uh, thinking about recently is I've accumulated over 60,000 uh, learning points. And the question is, what should I do with them? I wanted to do more hunting uh, since I haven't really been successful at hunting because it takes so long for my accuracy uh, to get up, it takes so long for it to aim that I just wasn't able to kill anything, uh, not within the limits of the amount of ammunition I had in my inventory. I was using a marksmanship of 42 and a strength of 16, and it just really wasn't enough to do that, uh, and I haven't tried it really from a boat yet, uh, but I doubt that I would be able to do anything with a boat either. I decided that uh, I needed to figure out how to deal with my points, and one of the things I decided to do uh, was at first I, I've been trying to do a balanced approach and mark up a lot of different things uh, because overall you need the different skills like you can't forget survival when you're doing exploration because when you find certain animals or bones or whatever uh, it really depends on you know what uh, what your survival because that caps your uh, quality of the materials that you find and one of the uh, things that I wanted to try to do this time though was to take advantage of the number of points and rather than go for Valor or some of the other skill sets that I would uh, might necessarily want to get uh, I decided to go and put all of my eggs in one basket of exploration so I took exploration from about a 45 or something like that and brought it up to a 60 and the reason for that is is that the exploration will provide me with a large number of forgeable items that I can pick up and that will allow me to uh, find more learn or items that I can use for learning points and as a consequence I can build up my learning point reservoir faster that way and be able to uh, do more hunting and do other things like that long as I have the ability to find items of high value that I can either uh, sell or trade or use in my habitation here. It was a decision to uh, be able to find more material and uh, concentrate on getting wealth which will allow me to increase the other skill sets that I eventually will want to get. So I think in, in a long run, uh, first thing I did is once I got up to 60 and I have a, uh, a perception of 16 uh, which gives me about 960 points so it's a pretty good uh, range of uh, forgeable items that I can look at and uh, the first thing I found was another rust route and then I found uh, River Pearls and I think that this is a good sign that the strategy is already working. So when you get to the point where you have some uh, decision making process about whether you want to upgrade a diverse group of sp uh, skills or uh, you want to try to balance the approach but I think ultimately exploration perception uh, if you concentrate on those and you get up to a thousand or even two thousand uh, combined uh, points uh, perception times exploration then you could find more I don't want to say money but you can get more learning points from the curiosities and the different kinds of things and certainly these things are more valuable to trade so I think that ultimately if you focus on the exploration aspect of it uh, then everything else will fall into place and then you can make uh, you can start making more choices about how to balance your skills and things like that what we're really talking about is uh, strategic thinking uh, about where you want to go in the game and I think uh, by accumulating learning points you are increasing your abilities to make a wider uh, variety of choices 
and by doing so either you can find items that you can trade or you can actually use them in the various endeavors. So I think this uh, broader approach or more focused approach on exploration will pay off in the long run and as a consequence will be better for us. So here we're picking up uh, our second muscle. So already the decision to uh, pick up the uh, higher percentages uh, for exploration are already paying off. Now muscles aren't, you know, something that are particularly wonderful, but you can get pearls out of them and those are highly valued. Now here, here's a rust root found. Now you can use these of course to find your own mineral deposits, but they're also important uh, for trade too. You can always trade these to other guys, be able to profit from that. So in that particular circumstance, we actually found one river mussel, but it actually turned out to be a couple of them that were in the same spot. So that's something to keep in mind when you're out collecting these things or looking for them. Another thing I've found is that the windblown weeds uh, are now redundant in a lot of ways. Uh, the ones I uh, do find are often of a much lower quality so that uh, I can create on my own. And I haven't found anything new uh, that would make it worth my while uh, to uh, uh, go after these things. Bolete, bloated bolete or something like that. And uh, that's a good curiosity. To so these are right off the bat, I mean, I've got rust root mussels and the bolete. So we're getting payoffs already uh, from our uh, using the, uh, spending our money on exploration. Now, one of the things I'm doing here is I'm actually looking at your flotsam, which is found in deep water. Here's our flotsam. Now, you see this is already panning out to be a big thing. We're getting lots of goodies here. And that's a 19 quality, too, so that's no uh, little quantity. At least it isn't to me. All right, I have to bite. Somebody put a runestone out here, so I need to figure out what it says. <laughs> well, we don't want to know. <laughs> All right. Okay, so here's another rust root. Always oh, worth getting. That's my third one I've gotten so far. I don't know if this particular strategy will, of course, work for everybody, but thinking it over and having experienced it at this point, um, I believe it is a successful way of of expanding what rapidly uh, to gain new uh, powers, skills, and things like this and building up your attributes that you can't buy but you can get by virtue of experience. So I think that this has been a good way of, uh, of taking advantage of the game in the sense of, of being able to promote and, uh, and uh, better your skills as quickly as possible, which ultimately is what you want to do so that you can stay a, a step ahead of the competition and enjoy the game as well from a position of strength rather than of weakness. So I think that Everybody has an opportunity here. Uh, of course, everybody has to find their own way. And in this particular sense, I believe that this has been a good way of dealing with it. Uh, time will tell, though. Hope you enjoyed this uh, particular segment, and uh, I'll be talking to you later. Thanks.